Day three of spring football in Norman, and the media's first and only opportunity to take in a practice. Of course, all eyes on the three-headed quarterback battle between redshirt junior Blake Bell, redshirt sophomore Kendall Thompson, and redshirt freshman Trevor Knight. Uh, all, three of those, all three of those guys have had really good good days. Um, they've all made mistakes, but they've all made a bunch of plays as well. And, and uh, you know, the guy that ultimately is going to be our quarterback is the guy that uh, makes a mistake and learns from it and doesn't repeat it. And uh, so all, all three of those guys are going through some growing pains, but uh, are doing a really good job as well. At the end of the day, whoever our guy is, uh, we're going to do things that they have a chance to be successful with, uh, that they're comfortable with, and, and um, you know, can execute at a high level. Um, all three of those guys have some similar traits. Uh, they're all slightly different in ways too. Um, and uh, you know, we've said this before, but you know, uh, I think our guys may uh, may be able to use their feet a little bit more uh, than we have in the past here. And, and uh, you know, so we'll find ways to, to utilize that skill. It's 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 different. Um, I mean, when you have a guy that you know is like 100% of the guy, um, it's kind of like it's it's just it's just a different feel. You can't really explain it. Uh, with, when the guys are out there uh, competing. I mean, it's really interesting and fun, and you know, seeing them that they're that they're working because they know that their spot's not guaranteed. I'm not saying that uh, you know Landry didn't compete and work out there, but it's just it's just different. Of course, there are battles at more than just the quarterback position. With Kenny Stills and Justin Brown gone, Sterling Shepard expects to play a valuable role at wide receiver this season. Even last year, we had we had a lot of horses. You know, uh, just a lot of them were still in the stable, and I feel like this year they're going to come out and uh, you know show what they have. And Coach Jay has faith in them, and everybody else does too. So I feel like they'll step up. You know, we have Deron Neal, uh, Derek Woods, everybody, they're going to step up. So. And all the new faces aren't just players. Bob Stoops recently hired three new assistant coaches, including Jerry Montgomery, coaching the defensive line, Jay Bulware, coaching tight ends and special teams, and Bill Biedenbaugh, coaching the offensive line. Yeah, yeah, no, that's a great opportunity because, I mean, some kids look really, really good in shorts. and. You know, when the pads come on, it changes, you know, and we've got a long ways to go and, and getting tougher and improving that. And, um, you know, it, again, I, I like this group. They're, they're really good kids. They, they want to be good. Um, they're smart kids, and, and we're going to continue to progress and continue to get better. Of course, next time we'll see the Sooners in action, Saturday, April 13th, the annual spring game kicks off at 2 p.m. David Fontenot, News OK Sports.